Monday afternoon with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. They've got John Baxson. Grant is out there with Pippen. It's Michael Jordan. And it's Cartwright in at the five spot. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. And finish off by Gasol. And being Gasol is seven feet tall. Duncan probably comes easily. The D's going to have to do a better job of getting him off his spot. Hackson against Fisher. Grant outside. Pippen down low. Five to shoot. Rejected by Gasol. And really, Gasol does an incredible job getting his hands up in the air, which results in a ton of rejection. Count that one. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. It's good. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Now here's Bryant, outside Odom. Looking for Gasol, he gets it there. And he converts the layup. Gasol's got six. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Paxson against Fisher. Paxson passes to Grant. Back to Paxson. And Grant now top of the key. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Cartwright. Another shot. Good work defensively by Gasol. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. And Gasol slams it in. The assist going to Brian. Cody's been improving on that facet of his game. Hexen outside. Outside Pippen. Back to Paxson. Pass to Kirk. Gasol with the steal. There's 117 left here in the opening quarter. Can't cash in from close range. Bulls trail by six. Jordan inside. Guarded by Kobe. Cartwright gets the bucket. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now oh, here's Odom. Bryant with the bounce pass. Gasol is done. Not loose. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. So for the Bulls. Purdue is checked in for Grant. Hodges comes in for Jordan. Armstrong subbed in for Paxson. And the wherewithal from Gasol there, nailing the shot despite the tough defense all over. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Hobson's jacked in for Chicago. Defensive foul. Scotty Pippen. That's his first personal foul. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Bulls trail by seven. Here's Armstrong. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You gladly take those. Now here's Bryant. No scoring in this one. Gasol's in the post. He's against Cartwright. And finished off by Gasol. And really, Gasol just never stops attacking the boards. Just utterly relentless at pounding the glass. Outside Pippen. Here's Purdue. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Lamar Odom picks one up. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Bulls making a switch here. He's perfect from the line this time. Mm -hmm. 
Gasol looking around. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Gasol has been leading the charge for Los Angeles. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll return shortly. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. We've got Gasol. Brian is out there with Fisher. Then it's Odom. And it's our test in at the three. That's the Laker five. Now, here's Jordan. Here's Livingston. Down to five on the shot clock. Jordan, the pass to Purdue. Goes back up. Rejected by Gasol. Outside, Odom. Purdue against Gasol. And it's Fisher in the corner. Odin deciding where to go with it. Here's Gasol. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Gasol's got the lead up to seven outs for Los Angeles. Jordan against Bryant. Livingston the pass to Armstrong. Here's Livingston. Here's Hobson. And another miss by Chicago. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. It's Gasol missing. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Armstrong passes to Livingston. Now Jordan, guarded by Kobe. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Jordan. A high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. The rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. And the Bulls making a change here. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Livingston. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Hobson. And it's Paxson in for Michael Jordan. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Bulls trail by seven. Paxson outside. Pass to Cartwright. That one drops for him. Cartwright's got his second bucket tonight. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And Gasol is a guy who can do a multitude of things well. I mean, he scores it, rebounds it, passes it, just an all-around talent. 
The Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Passes to Paxson. Here's Cartwright, defended by Gasol. Let's a floater go, and he sinks the layup. Cartwright's got four points this quarter. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Fisher with the bounce pass. Right side Gasol. And finished off by Gasol. And with Gasol, he feels comfortable shooting from any area of the court. If you give him space, he'll torch you. Fisher against Armstrong. And it's Grant in the corner. Paxson outside. Grant with a screen on Fisher. Here's Armstrong. Another one falls for Chicago. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. And Bryant gets to Gasol. job in the low post. Gasol's got 22. And this is where you feed Gasol. The deeper positioning he can get, the more aggressive he may become. Oh, Gasol has been leading the charge for the Lakers. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We come back right after this. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And what about Pau Gasol? I mean, he's been sensational. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. He has been aggressive, getting into the painted area seemingly at will and wreaking absolute havoc on the defense. So for Chicago right now, Grant is out there with Pippen. That's John Paxson. And there's Cartwright. And it's Jordan in a shooting guard. First team foul. Gasol's in the post. He is guarded by Cartwright. Back to second personal foul. Second team foul. Stolen away. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. And that one, good. Grant's got the opening bucket to start the second half for Chicago. With the ball around the hoop, Horace Grant, a tough man to stop. Ryan passes to Gasol. And 
Gasol slams it in. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Gasol finds Fisher. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. Sinks that one from the post. Gasol's got four points this quarter. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. To the paint. A putback. And they got to keep him off the glass. For a little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. There's the pass to Fisher. Now the dish to Gasol. is good. Gasol has got 28 points for the game. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Cartwright the pass to Paxson. Rebounded by Odom. If he gets that look again he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Gasol inside. Hippin' on him. Chicago grabs the miss. And the defense did just enough to bother that dunk attempt. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. B.J. Armstrong's checked in for Jordan. Bulls substitution, number 10. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. John Jackson. That's his first. Los Angeles leading by five. Fisher finds Bryant. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Gasol. And Gasol with the dunk. And Odom is a rarity. That tall, slender forward with guard-like passing ability. So it's Chicago now. Pippen outside. Pass to Kirk. There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Jackson with a screen on Gasol. Five on the clock. And again, Chicago. No good. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Here's Gasol. That misses off the backboard. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Armstrong passes to Kirk to the wing right side. Pass to Pippen. Kicks it out to Grant. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Gasol with the block. Los Angeles falls. Coming onto the floor for the Bulls, Will Lee. Now here's Gasol. He has third, and it's blocked. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Pippen. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers ahead. They're up by four. And we'll be back with you right after this. The ball. 26. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Right, 
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Paul Gasol is out there with Odin. Then there's our test, and it's Fisher, and it's Kobe in at the two guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Our test dishes to Gasol. Back to our test. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. Lock at six. And they double up Gasol. And here's Fisher on top. Will Purdue grabs the miss. Bulls trail by four. And it's Ron Artest with the foul. That's foul number two for him. His second personal foul. First team foul. Artest against Jordan. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Gasol's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And Fisher kicks to Gasol. Gasol is doubled. Purdue with the rebound. Purdue's got four rebounds now tonight. Armstrong passes to Jordan. Over to the left wing. Hodges against Bryant to the inside. Stolen by Artest. Outside Gasol. And finished off by Gasol. And we rave about Powell's touch, but how about his toughness, willing to just go to battle inside? Bulls trail by six. Chicago calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Livingston. Pippen's checked in for Hodges. And it's Paxson in for B.J. Armstrong. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Well, during that last break, I listened in on Phil Jackson's huddle. They were asking the team to play faster, push the ball. Coach told their players, hey, look, in this league, fast break points are the easiest. We need more of them. Can't argue with that. Kevin? Thank you, David. Just four to shoot. And Jordan throws it down. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Fisher, the pass to Gasol. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But Drew Conchak, he'll head to the line. You know what? Nice job here on the attack at the rim, drawing the contact. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. I'm not going to lie. That's big, making all of those. Giving them a little bit more breathing room. Jordan with it. A floater. Count the basket and the foul. Lamar Odom picks one up. Put the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments as cool as they come. And the pass to Gasol. And they double up Gasol. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And he makes good on the way. Gasol's got six here in this quarter. And Gasol is someone you turn to in these situations. Need a big basket, he's ready to go. Here's Jordan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. I have to now review the personal foul in question. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal foul number two. To catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels it's not the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. So he gets them both. 
And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. Bryant down low. Guarded by Jordan. Here's Gasol. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. Gasol's got 38 points. Man, that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. This is what you expect from him. Just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. Now here's Jordan. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Odom, the pass to Gasol. Gasol is done. Fisher outside. Back to Gasol. Count it! And that's why Gasol's teammates Ooh. trust him. His ability to hit these shots time and time again is what makes him such a special player. Here is Jordan after Pau Gasol's bucket. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fade. Worked to absolute perfection. And an intentional foul right there. He had to foul on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out. Here's Jordan. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here. He was determined to deliver. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. That makes it a three-point lead. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. That's their only option. They have to get a good look from deep here. Jordan passes to Paxson. It's Pippen on the win. Can they tie? Oh, at the buzzer! That is how you finish it. Yeah. Guys, that's one for the highlight reel. They needed a three to extend the game, and the young fella delivers. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime, and we'll return shortly. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. They've got our test. Just all out there with Odom. Then there's Kobe. And it's Fisher in at the point guard. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist by Bryant. Gasol's got 44. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Now, here's Paxson. Cartwright, the pass to Paxson. And out of bounds is the Lakers' game possession. Oh, oh, oh no, that was a huge turnover. That cannot happen at this point in the game. The Lakers in the lead. Bryant looking around. And finished off by Gasol. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Stolen by our test. Gasol with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Gasol is done. The kick out to Odom. Back to Gasol. Kobe passes to Gasol, and he comes up with the deuce. Gasol's got 48. 
These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. And the foul called on Paul Gasol. That's foul number two for him. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Lakers on D. Short driving the lane. Yes! And the way Jordan attacks, the ferocity of his drives, does an exceptional job scoring after contact. Now here's Kobe. Fisher finds Gasol. Gasol is the Oh, wow. yes! Oh, just a beautiful textbook bounce pass. You love to see it. Now Paxson. No good that time. Great D that time from our test. And that's an intentional foul. Back to second personal foul. Second he hits team. the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Jordan looking it over. Here's Cartwright. Gasol with the defensive effort. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Big stretch here going 10-2. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gasol's got 52 points. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They, they just seem to have lost their energy. And so the Lakers take the win. They escape with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Pau Gasol.